So here at 11, dozens gathered to remember John Crawford III on the sixth anniversary of his death. Crawford was shot and killed by Beaver Creek police inside a Walmart in 2014. Two News reporter Kristen Escow is outside the Beaver Creek Walmart after speaking with Crawford's father today about the demonstration. John Crawford III's family has held a vigil here every year on August 5th to commemorate the day he was killed in 2014. Now, earlier, Crawford's father told me the number of people here at Wednesday's demonstration was at least double compared to those who showed up last year. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Dozens of people march around the Beaver Creek Walmart parking lot Wednesday evening, six years after 22-year-old John Crawford III was shot and killed by Beaver Creek police. Always devastation. Uh, uh, bitterness, you know, it's a mix of a variety of feelings. In 2014, someone inside the Beaver Creek Walmart called 911 after mistaking the BB gun John Crawford III was holding for a real gun. Police confronted Crawford, and soon after, one of the officers opened fire. No charges were filed. I'm grateful that people are waking up, you know, the collective is waking up, because that's what it's going to take, inevitably, to have change. Wednesday night's demonstration comes on the heels of numerous protests across the country for racial justice, including one near the Walmart in June that involved hundreds of people. I think there's like an added pressure uh, now with this uh, resurgence of Black Lives Matter becoming a bigger part of like the national conscience, really. John Crawford III's father says he wants to see people take action beyond Wednesday's demonstration. A lot of that's got to do with uh, legislation, you know, term limits things of that nature so so the system continue to evolve and diversify. Earlier this year, the city of Beaver Creek agreed to pay Crawford's family $1.7 million as part of a settlement reached in a wrongful death lawsuit. The family has also sued Walmart and the family's attorney says that trial is set to begin in November. In Beaver Creek, Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.